Melissa Beaver. I am of the Muscogee Creek Nation tribe. I am of the Bird Clan and I am part of the criminal justice program. So how I heard about the College of Muscogee Nation was through the a few officers with the um, White Horse Police. They soon, so like when the uh, college first started up they were this building was even wasn't here yet um, they were over at the OSU um, campus uh, at the very beginning and that's when I first started hearing about the college I was still in high school at that time so they knew that I was getting ready to graduate and they were telling me about how they applied and how they were taking classes there and told me you know it was very easy to um, apply and the steps and everything to, I guess, get accepted and the paperwork wasn't like complicated, I guess. So that stayed in my mind. Um, it didn't seem so intimidating uh, as other colleges. So another thing of, of me is that um, I had a, a child at a young age. I was already a mother in high school. I had my child, my first child when I was 16 and um, I knew I had to hurry and get in the workforce after high school. Um, I mean, I already had like little side jobs to make ends meet, but I knew for me and my child to make it, I, I had to further my education. So I, remember those officers telling me that there was the College of Muscogee Nation. It was just right here. I am from Henrietta. I live in Henrietta, but I born and raised here in Omogee. And so, I mean, it was just right here. So it was like, I could not not go, you know? And plus it was with the, the tribe that I'm involved with. It's taken me a while to get where I'm at today, but I can see the light. <laughs> I can see the light. And so it's been, I mean, a process. It's a long drawn out process. But like I said, I had to hurry up, get in the workforce, get a good paying job, a decent paying job. And, and I did start taking classes eventually here at the College of Muscogee Nation. And, um, I mean, a few years later, it took me a while to get here, but I didn't like give up. If you're indigenous, you know, keep that pride within yourself to keep going. Um, no matter how old you are, no matter what situation you're in, um, keep that goal in front of you and keep going towards it. You know, no matter how long it takes you to get there is, just to keep going. I mean, that's what I told myself this whole time. Keep that going in front of you and keep going. No matter how, no matter, like, life happens. And as long as you keep that goal, you're gonna get, you know, obstacles. But just remember where you're going and keep going that direction and you'll eventually see yourself there. <laughs>